What do you got to bear with martial arts skills? Grizzly. Hi there, my name is James and thank you so much for checking out my podcast, Dad Mind Matters. Helping men to safely navigate family life without losing their minds. In this podcast, I'm going to give you my eight reasons why I think everyone should train Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Especially if you're a man. Especially if you're a man in his 30s or 40s. Especially if you're a man in his 30s or 40s or older who often struggles with mental health. Basically, quite a lot like me. I started this podcast because I want to create an online community that supports people, specifically dads and specifically dads like myself who often struggle with their mental health. If that sounds like something you'd like to support please follow this podcast or if you're watching this on my youtube channel please hit subscribe i'm a happily married father of three and we live on the south coast of the uk near brighton i started brazilian jiu-jitsu about two weeks after my 40th birthday in 2016 i'd always had an interest in the martial arts and did judo as a child ironically the fantastic jiu-jitsu academy that i've been training at for the past seven years is the same one that i'd cycled past to and from work five times a week for six years before i actually started training training there. I work on Brighton Beach as a seafront officer. I think for me probably one of the main catalysts for wanting to learn Brazilian Jiu Jitsu was following an incident I was involved in on Brighton Seafront in 2015. My primary role as a seafront officer is to help keep people safe on the beaches in Brighton and Hove but quite often we're called to support the police with antisocial behaviour. One such incident where we had to call the police about a drunk man who'd been shoplifting from some of the shops on the seafront and who had also assaulted several people. He had a piece of rope with a padlock round his neck and every time the policeman tried to get close to him he kept swinging it at him. This inevitably led to the policeman catching it full in the head and sustaining a nasty cut just above his eye. This all took place in a very busy live music venue on Brighton seafront. And what didn't help was instead of helping me and this policeman restrain this man, the general public around either cheered or threw beer at us. The few days and weeks that followed made me really think that actually I don't have any strategy if that was to happen to me. If someone attacked me or if there was an intruder in the house in the middle of the night or someone tried to mug me at an ATM I'd have absolutely no idea what to do. So in 2016 a couple of weeks after my 40th birthday I went and attended a trial class and I couldn't believe how helpless I was against some of the people there. Some of the white belts who had maybe only been training for two or three months seemed to be able to submit me at will time and time again and actually one piece of advice I would give to anyone starting jiu-jitsu the toughest bit is getting through that first six months the first six months of a white belt the learning curve is probably at its steepest I remember a black belt telling me one of the first things you learn at jiu-jitsu is that you know nothing once you know that and accept that then you can start to learn the amount of information that you process as a white belt is at times overwhelming and one of the things I remember being repeatedly told was just to think about my breathing and try and relax which is easier said than done when you have a black belt jiu-jitsu practitioner sat on your chest. I'm now a one stripe purple belt and have been training for about seven years. More importantly, all of my children have had a chance to try Jiu Jitsu and two of them actually train on a regular basis. This martial art and particularly this academy has helped me to make some really great friendships. I'm also now employed as one of the coaches for the kids classes. And what this has done for my mental and physical well-being is probably beyond anything else I've ever done in my life. Reason number one, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is fantastic for your physical health and all components of physical health, as well as supporting and strengthening your heart and your lungs and your respiratory system. It's also making you stronger and making you strong in a really pragmatic way. Learning how to defend yourself physically is a really important life skill. I'd be confident to say that you probably burn more calories doing an hour of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu than you do, say, running or doing weight training. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is also really good for your flexibility and certainly when you get into your 30s and 40s it's really important to look after your body and the second reason I think you should start Brazilian Jiu Jitsu it's really good for your mental health. I've struggled with OCD and depression for as long as I can remember. I can say with no doubt that Brazilian Jiu Jitsu has had a more profound and positive effect on my mental health than any of the other things I've tried. Meditation, medication, open water swimming, cold water therapy, marathon training are all things I've tried and all things that have helped and continue to help but the one thing that makes me feel calmer than anything else is training brazilian jiu-jitsu obviously that may not be the case for everyone but if you're someone like me that struggles with the mental health i urge you to at least try brazilian jiu-jitsu i think for me one of the reasons it's so effective is i struggle with intrusive thoughts 
And practicing Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is the most present I ever feel. There's physically not the space in my mind when I'm actually practicing Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu to also be worrying about whether or not I close the door or whether or not I accidentally cause some fictitious road traffic accident. You're too present to worry about anything other than defending yourself against whoever it is you're rolling with. Reason number three of why you should start Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is fantastic self-defense. We live in a very mixed up world and you never actually know what's around the corner. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is a very, very effective self-defense, largely because if you end up in a fight, there's a strong chance they'll end up on the floor. And Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioners are very effective on the floor. There have been times at work when I've had to use Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, where I've had to restrain people, or I've just had to be in a situation where I need to be calm and have a strategy of what I should do if the erratic person I'm talking to tries to attack me. I think once you have an idea of how to defend yourself, you just feel more confident in public. I think you're actually less likely to be involved in altercations once you know how to defend yourself. And the fourth reason I think you should take up Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, it builds confidence. Learning Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu hasn't just helped me feel safer about defending myself. It's made me more confident. It's helped me in all facets of my life. I'm definitely a calmer and more rational and confident dad and husband because of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I'm a calmer, more methodical, efficient seafront officer. I think it's fair to say that without Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, I'm not sure I'd have the confidence to start a podcast or a YouTube channel or write a book. Learning Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu will learn you how to deal with adversity. It will teach you how to manage stress. It teaches you how to think calmly and methodically when stressed. It teaches you how to think calmly and methodically when you're under stress. Without wanting to sound too much like a motivational poster, it does help you to become the best version of yourself. And the fifth reason I think you should take up Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, it will really help to develop your problem solving and critical thinking skills. Once you start training Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, you just start to see the world a bit differently. You start to view stressful situations a bit differently. Things that used to upset you or stress you out may start to not really bother you. I'm suddenly not that bothered in traffic jams. Don't be surprised if you become the calmest person in your room or at work or in the family. By continuing to put yourself in stressful situations where you have to adapt, where you have to learn skills, where you have to learn how to escape and evade and defend yourself, that affects every area of your life. When you're rolling against another BJJ practitioner, you have to think calmly, especially if you're rolling against the higher belt. And the sixth reason I think you should take up BJJ, you join your community, not just the community of your academy, but a worldwide community. Me finding out that someone does Brazilian Jiu Jitsu instantly makes them more interesting to me. If I meet someone and I I know nothing else about them other than they do Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. That instantly tells me a lot about them. It tells me that they have the ability to do something that's really, really difficult. I don't think it's ever been more important to feel part of a community. And there are so many benefits to being part of a community of people, of like-minded people. I've said it so many times, it's probably going to start to become the podcast tagline. But I've heard it said that we are the average of the five people we spend the most time with. With that in mind, it's really important to think about who you're spending your time with. And for me, surrounding myself with four or five black belt jiu-jitsu practitioners is probably the best thing you can do. Because these are people who have spent decades learning a skill that is really difficult, that most people can't do. Apparently only 10% of the people that start jiu-jitsu make it to blue belt. And apparently only one person out of 100 that start jiu-jitsu will ever get to be a black belt. That gives you an indication of how hard it is to learn. Some of the people that have helped me the most in the past decade are not the people I've known the longest or family members, but people I've met through jiu-jitsu. Some of the people who've helped me with my book or my podcast are also people I train with at Jiu Jitsu. And in fact, if you want to watch one of those videos of someone I've met through Jiu Jitsu, who's a genuinely awesome bloke, click the video at the end of this podcast. And the seventh reason I think you should take up Jiu Jitsu is good fun. When I step on the mats and start training, I'm not thinking about anything else. I'm not worrying about the kids or worrying about paying the bills or worrying about my marriage. I'm just thinking about training Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And I think it's really important for people to have a time in their life, in their week, in their day, when they're just getting to be themselves. And it is actually good fun. I find there's a lot of fun and laughter when I'm training Brazilian Jiu Jitsu because I'm spending time with friendly, like-minded people. I always leave a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu class feeling calmer, more grounded and happier than when I went in. And the eighth reason I think you should take up Jiu Jitsu, it's really therapeutic. I can't really describe it other than I just come out of Jiu Jitsu feeling calmer, which is quite ironic because I've probably spent the last hour trying to stop people choking me. But the cycle back after a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu class is probably the calmest I ever get to feel during the day. I think the combination of the endorphins you produce through exercise, how hard your mind has to work during Jiu Jitsu, that combination makes it a very therapeutic activity. 
And bonus reason number nine of why I think you should take up jujitsu, you'll make some fantastic friends. I've made some really good friends through jujitsu. People have helped me through some very difficult times and people who have helped me to celebrate some fantastic times. People often talk about these days about finding your tribe. If you're someone who starts and continues to train jujitsu, I'm pretty sure you found your tribe. Like-minded people who can help you in all areas of your life. The one piece of advice I would give if, like me, you're thinking about starting jiu-jitsu but you're in maybe your 30s or 40s is take it steady. There are guys I train with in their 20s who can train five or six days a week. My body needs one or two days in between training sessions. I find that training twice a week isn't enough and four times a week is probably getting too much. Along with the kids' classes I help to coach, if I can get down there three times a week, that's pretty perfect. I really hope you got some of this podcast, and if you have a question for me, please put it in the comments below. As I've shamelessly mentioned throughout the podcast, I've recently published a book called First Time Dad. It's a 42-week guide to hopefully support first-time dads with their mental health and help them to support their partners. It's now available on Amazon, and if you'd like a completely free digital copy, just email me at mydadmissions at gmail.com or put something in the comments below. All I would ask is you leave an honest review of it on Amazon when you've had a chance to take a look at it. I hope wherever you are in the world, you're okay. Take care. When it began, just after my 40th birthday, it was this or learn guitar. Survive my trial class, split my first two pairs of gi pants, Going commando is frowned upon Hands Choking hands Reaching out Choking me while I'm trying to choke you Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Ba-ba-da Apparently they call it the gentle art Sometimes when I shrimp the sudden movement makes me fart Dad Mind Matters Helping men safely navigate family life without losing their minds Two podcasts every week on a Monday and a Thursday